Welcome back to my channel. I am back today with another video and as y'all can tell by the title and of course the thumbnail we have an update video and of course I will be playing in some OD but goody in my stash type of makeup. Haven't used this in a long time y'all so anyway if y'all have not subscribed to the channel definitely go ahead and subscribe. I come with a lot of makeup. I have just a teeny eensy weensy just a small makeup addiction so y'all are gonna find a lot of makeup here new old you name it it's probably gonna be over here but anyway y'all um yeah this is the palette that i'm gonna be using today this is the Too Faced chocolate gold barely touched this palette yeah i'm wrong for this this is a 50 dollars palette and i had it for a long time probably used it maybe five times barely used it the color story is nice y'all we have mostly shimmer shades in here we only have about four matte shades i think so yeah i definitely do like this palette and we're gonna play in it a little bit maybe a little pop of color so if y'all haven't seen my last video or the latest video on these brushes right here these brushes i did get these from um juvia's place this is the new collection i live i love by Juvia's Place. So um, I want to give y'all an update on it. I have washed them at least two or three times. I think at least two times for sure. So I want to give y'all a close up of how they are looking after a good little wash and use several times. So anyway, if y'all interested in anything that I have going on over here, definitely continue on watching. So I got my eyes primed and everything. Um, of course, I am doing a review on this wig. If y'all want the tea on this wig, click the link in the description box after this video and go and watch it. Super, super, super cute and affordable. Yeah, go check it out. But anyway, um, before we even get any further in this video, I want to show y'all a close-up of what these brushes look like. I have washed these brushes about two times already two times and this is what they are looking like um after a good washing now the material of the brush the synthetic fibers of these brushes did change a bit um they are not as soft as they were but still soft i'm gonna let y'all know how it feels on my eyes once i start using them now this is what the brush looked like from the get-go this is what it looks like this was this is one that i haven't used at all and of course this one too i haven't used this one so um they didn't get as clean you know as white as they were before but okay, okay so let me show y'all what i use to wash my brushes with this is what i use y'all some good old palm olive and i have some um the one with the oxy in it so i guess that i, I kind of use that one because i want to see how white i can get an oxy usually helps get the brushes real clean but um as you can see like i was showing y'all um we do have a little bit of staining it's not too bad but yeah i will let y'all know what it feels like on my eye in a minute so let's get into the palette so again this is what that story looked like i think it's really pretty we could have used a lot more or a few more matte shades in here but the first one that i'm gonna go in with is gonna be this one right here is so bougie take this brush right here of course from the juvia's place collection i do have hooded eyes so i do have to constantly go back in and smooth out the lines from blinking okay so that brush did feel pretty good on my eyes still i'm still liking the way it's feeling y'all so um let's just go back into the palette we're gonna try this darker brown one this one is called cocoa truffle and of course it's a little bit darker than the one i just put on it's a lot darker <laughs> and i'm gonna use this brush right here as you can see the bristles on this one is um more tapered and kind of skinny at the top so that's definitely gonna be right up in my crease right below that first color that i use i definitely like the way this brush is shaped because it goes right in my hooded eyes Okay, y'all, so obviously y'all can see I did go over here and play with this eye. 
if y'all have not seen my last video where i use this right here the the um eyelash curler to do my cut crease i did it again definitely check out that video i will leave the link in the description box below for you to go ahead and check it out but in the last video i'm pretty sure if you watched it you'll know that i went out really really high so i decided to go ahead and at the last minute pull out this thing again and see if i can get it lower and this is what i got so let me do the other eye on camera so y'all can see how i got this cut crease so obviously my first time y'all i am a fan of this sometimes it just take me forever to get my cut crease even and precise and this one right here this method super fast and easy so if you have um a hooded eye situation or you struggle with it i definitely would advise you to go ahead and try this eye curler eyelash curler and the next one i have seen a spoon to a spoon trick I might come on camera and do that. Let me know what y'all think. So obviously y'all, I am gonna be going real, real low and it's harder to do it on camera. I have my mirror right here, but I'm trying to do it on camera and hopefully I won't mess up. I want y'all to see. So. Okay, so I'm a little bit lower on this one, but I can come up higher. It's, it, it did give me the line that i need so let me just try to um make it perfect right now hopefully i don't block y'all let me get a smaller mirror and i am using my cut crease canvas to do this cut crease and that is from makeup revolution y'all so this is what it is looking like and i can vouch for this one y'all this one really does work um definitely check out the other video i went high real high and now you know i guess we can determine how high we want to go when it comes to our cut crease and i like this but we'll see at the end of the video if i really really like it so um i'm gonna go back in with that brush that i used to apply the second color so yeah i'm gonna go in right here and put cocoa truffle on the outer corners of my eyes just to darken it up the brush isn't doing it for me so i just picked up a flat brush from yana's eyes and just pat that color on because i'm saving my other brush from juvia's place to put that um the shimmer shade i'm gonna use okay so yes this is the one that um comes in that set from juvia's place the only one only flat brush so i'm gonna go in with this one right here this one is classy sassy pretty shimmer shade so of course i gotta use my fingers to apply that color because it's not as um popping <laughs> as i would like so using your fingers usually always makes it much brighter so let's go back into the palette i want to put this right here this is called rich girl in the corner and i'm going to use this brush although i think it's a little bit big it's a little bit too big for me y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that color in any way And of course, I'm gonna use this brush right here and go back in with that cocoa truffle color just to blend classy sassy in with that dark shade. Okay, so this is what I'm looking like and I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna do my whole face for the most part. I also did um, say I was gonna do a eyeliner, wing eyeliner tutorial. So I'm gonna go and do that right now shout out to my girl 
Vicky. <laughs> so that should be up too. So yeah, I'm gonna go and do the rest of my face, record that video, and I'll be right back so we can finish the lower part of our eyes. Hey y'all, so I just finished my face and everything I use on my face is gonna be in the description box below. So um, I think it looks pretty good, y'all. I like this, even though it's kinda um, on the neutral side. Y'all know I've been doing way too much color, but um, anyway, let's get back into this palette. And of course, speaking of color, <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to give it a little spice, a little bit of spice and add this bright pink. I hope it's showing up on camera because it don't look like it from what I'm seeing. Um, this bright pink color, this one is called Living Lavish. And I'm gonna take that and spread it along the lower part of my waterline. So yeah, this is another brush from that uh, collection. Just a flat brush. So I'm gonna go off camera, do the other eye, put some black eyeliner in my waterline and my mascara and lashes and we'll be back to finish up this video. y'all so this is the end of the video i hope y'all like the look i think it came out really pretty y'all i need to go back into my stash and get my old old palettes because that's one that's old y'all old palettes and play with them because it just stopped buying eyeshadow period but i know i have a bad habit uh, just a little teeny stupid but anyway whole point of it all i like the look let me know what y'all think about the look and of course as for the brushes i don't think it was too bad y'all like i said i did wash them twice I've used them at least three times right now, three times. So if you are interested in getting those brushes, I would say yes, go ahead and get them. Um, I can still keep y'all posted to see how long they wear. Hopefully they won't look like this right here. This is from uh, Morphe, y'all. Their white hair brushes are not good. I have to admit it. I still use them, but they aren't good. They get rough and raggedy and frayed as you can see real easy so hopefully those won't look like that after a few more washes but um they're not that expensive they were 45 dollars let me know what y'all think about the look let me know if y'all are interested in those brushes do y'all have those brushes what do you think i think you should go ahead and try them so anyway let's have a conversation i'm gonna go ahead and end this video please like subscribe and of course comment of course let me know what y'all think i will see y'all in my next video